Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Two, one, start! Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Welcome to Royal Goobs. La 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 la. la, la. Welcome la, la, back, la, 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 la. Hi. Hello. We're back. Yeah. Back uh, with a brand new session. And we're doing new audio recording. Hey, big surprise. You've never heard that before, right? <laughs> but uh, we think it's going to work out for the best. Yeah, so uh, we have a crap ton of things to talk about in Not this really. session. I certainly do. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, later. Thanks for coming by. Ooh, let's see. Uh, Who's this? Mean? Who's that? What, what color? Sorry. Oh, he's green. <laughs> so, chunky? Yeah, so chunky. Alright. Yeah, welcome back. Hi! What has it been? A uh, month? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Since then, I went to a convention, so I got a bunch of... I got some stuff to share. Hell yeah. Yep. I went to Montana. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went skiing. Yeah, you had, went on a fun skiing trip with Jen and uh, your buddy. Oh, 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 Jake! Oh, no, oh Lord! Yeah, I did. It was it was tight, dude. Yeah. Um. So send it, man. What what you been up to, dog? Uh, let's see. Lately, hmm. Well, recently I've actually been kind of excited about uh, the new the new uh, Crash Team Racing remake. Crash fucking racing. Yeah, they just they just revealed a couple days ago. Uh huh. So there was a sequel to Crash Team Racing called Crash Nitro Kart. Yeah, I remember that. That game was sweet. Okay, so you did play that game. Yeah. That one didn't sell as well as the first one. No. Um, People didn't like it as much because a lot of it just felt like straight up copy and paste from the first game. Nothing too different. We a lot of the tracks were the same. We area, right? Yes, we did. Sorry. We hit we, the freaking target with the goosey yep. eyes. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> they just announced that not only are all the CTR tracks coming back, they're also bringing back all of the racers and tracks from Crash Nitro Kart. Sick! So, it's a remake of two games in one, essentially. Nice. And what they're gonna do is, because people complain about the tracks having the same aesthetic as uh -huh. the tracks from the first r Crash Racing game, they're gonna redo them okay. and make them look different. So, it's not just, like duplications of the same tracks like uh there's this one electron there's one called electron avenue that looks really really sick james put a pic on screen um but yeah no i'm super excited and you can play online oh that's so rad <laughs> are you gonna do that oh well oh, hell yeah well speaking of online uh did you get your wait do you have do you have amazon prime no i don't oh i was gonna say nintendo is giving away like a year's worth of their service for free if you have amazon prime <sighs> Until they fix Smash Brothers online and make it so there's no input lag, I refuse to pay for it. <laughs> so never? <laughs> eh, Probably. Maybe. <laughs> Unless I suddenly get really into Splatoon or something, which ah. probably won't have. I, I pretty much play Splatoon in short bursts. Oh god, oh god, the camera. Yeah. Well, you're cool, man. Car, but so, so you're pumped for uh, that yeah. shit. Yeah, it comes out in June, so gotta wait three months. But uh, Oh yeah, by the way, to put this in perspective, we are currently recording on... March 30th, and today the Gilbert Gottfried episode came out, so we're recording on that day. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, so I was thinking about that the other day. I told my co-worker uh, co um, about Gilbert Gottfried. And he's uh -huh. like, who? And I was like, oh, he has a crazy voice. You'd probably recognize it, but I wasn't about to blast it in the office. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. This is what Gilbert Gottfried sounds like. <laughs> 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 All right, so, hmm. Oh, yeah, you gotta go in there. It's tiny to get the mermaid's pearls. Yeah, buddy. Look at those, look at those, uh, look at that treasure on the wall. And then don't we have to be lanky and, uh, Diddy? Yeah. Yeah, there, there are two things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta I, be Diddy and lanky. I thought that automatically, um, made me... I think you gotta hit Z and... Yeah. Left triangle there button? Go. Yeah. Or whatever. Sweet! We're playing on the Wii U, yeah. so... It's not exactly the same. Um... Let's see. Well, I do have some interesting uh, things that happened at that con I went to. Mm -hmm. uh, should I should I start with that, or was there something you wanted to talk about? No, I just wanted to say hi. It, it, you know, it always takes us about an episode or so to get get back on track. But um, Jen's here today. Jen, right. want to say hi? Hi. Yeah, that was the first time she was like, no. Oops. Uh oh, Elliot, she fucked you up. Uh oh, Jen, you <laughs> fucked me up. Oh shit. Just kidding. Nah, you're fine. Jen, Jen. can never fuck me up. Um. <laughs> Without your permission. Without course. my permission. So, um. Let's Jen, see. hit me in the face! What? Hit me in the face! I want my blood and spaghetti! So, I went to this gigantic con recently, and 
Um, I only got to go for one day, so it was a lot of walking around. Which and convention was it? Not getting to... Uh, it was a uh, Comic-Con. Sweet. And, yeah, it was the first time I'd ever been to Comic-Con before. It was nice, a lot of dude. fun. Um, I got to meet some cool artists there, and we're going to be giving them shout-outs in the upcoming episodes. Mm. Um, so, here's the really cool thing. I, yeah? I got to meet Bob Camp. Uh huh. One of the co-creators of Ren and Stimpy. Oh, you told me. Yes. Tell me about that. What was that like, dude? That was cool. So I, I walked. He was in this one corner of one of the gigantic artist vendor halls. Uh huh. Now, um, I myself didn't grow up watching Ren and Stimpy. I think my dad watched the adult version on MTV when he was in college. Wait. So there were two versions of it. Yeah. There's. I was wondering about that. Yeah. There's the original on Nickelodeon that was for more kid appropriate. Then. Um, the the other co-creator i can't remember his name uh he made the adult party version for mtv i believe but that one wasn't as well received oh okay i wondered about that because like i only saw the adult one really when i was a kid uh oh. not super little kid and um you know i always heard like oh this was a nickelodeon show i'm like what this was a nickelodeon <laughs> show like no way i mean mtv and nickelodeon are both viacom channels so Mm. Only makes sense to a degree, but uh, yeah. So he um he told me some interesting things. He so he Bob Camp he's currently a writer on SpongeBob, and, <laughs> and he's um he's feeling pretty confident with how the show's being handled right now. I know I know I've complained about SpongeBob sucked after the first movie because Steven Hillenburg stepped down. Mm -hmm. Um, rest in peace, Steven Hillenburg. But uh, yeah, he's. Sad. He's saying that uh, the show currently has some really funny writers, and mm -hmm. I haven't watched SpongeBob in a while, but yeah, he seems pretty confident about it, so that's pretty cool. Nice. Um, so he said, like, back in the day, when they worked on Ren and Stimpy, he and the other cartoonists and writers, they were gigantic assholes to each other. Really? They would tell jokes, like, I, I don't remember everything he said, but he said, like... The kids' version? Yeah, the kids' version. <laughs> they say things like, apparently at Nickelodeon, even today, I hope I'm getting this right, there's a sticky note on a wall somewhere that was written back in the 90s when they were working on Ren and Stimpy. Yeah? And it says something like, uh... Like, these drawings suck. God hates you. Fuck you. What? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, behind the scenes, they don't have to restrict themselves. Yeah, 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 they can yeah. make funny racist jokes and... <laughs> funny racist jokes and yeah. shit. Well... They're like, they're like, this is a kid's channel. Well, you know, they <laughs> yeah, can't yeah, make yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I know, I know. Uh, but he, he didn't mention anything like that. Look, James, just... it's 2019. Race cannot be the center of your joke ever, okay? Um, but so What color is that guy, by the way? He's, Speaking uh... Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Uh, he's yellow, so you gotta get DK up here uh, soon. Oh, I know how you get up. There's, don't you raise the water? No, there's a banana pad somewhere, I believe. Uh, okay. On that pile? Wait. A banana pad? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you oh. know, a number pad. Got it. So, here's the other thing. Oh, and another minigame. Mini game. cool. So, he wants to make... Bob Camp, he told me... I asked him, how come you guys never made a Ren and Stimpy movie? And he said, well, I, I would love to make a Ren and Stimpy movie, but here's the problem. <laughs> But yeah, no, getting to talk to him was really cool. I got some pictures, actually. Here, James, put them on screen. There, yeah, baby. Put them on screen again. Put it on over those ones, and now put it on, like, five at once. Like, now I want the whole screen to be one picture, but, like, eight times. Thank you, Mr. Turd Blossom. Yep. More editing for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, getting to meet him was pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah, sounds fun, man. Yeah, um, let's see what else happened. Uh, so, right when I got there to Comic-Con, uh, I came across this dude... This this other guy, other con goer came up to me and he had he had a Thanos Infinity Gauntlet on his uh -huh. hand. It was a really cool toy one and he let me try it on and it was so cool. I got to flip off with it. I really wish I got a picture of me doing to that. Flip off with it. I got to you know raise Ugh. give the bird with the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. And I was thinking to myself, oh, I wish I had one. I could use this in like a thumbnail for a YouTube video. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that'd be so sick. I, so I asked around, like, hey, are there any Infinity Gauntlets I can buy here at the con? And people were like, oh, there's some over there. And they, were, they just weren't the same. Well, well, no, I there were some that were really good, but they costed, like, 150 bucks. Fuck that. Yeah, and so I, I almost gave in to Smog's, Smog the Dragon's Dragon Sickness and wanted to buy it. Because, like, yes, it's mine, it's yeah. mine. But I realized, nope, 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 nope. Gotta pay for food. Smart decision, bud. I almost uh, gave into it, but I, my smart side, the angel on my other shoulder, you know, told me to not be a fucking idiot. Uh, what Dude, else? this one seems a lot larger. Than, oh my god, I've gone down every wrong turn. Are you just following one oh of the walls? 
Um, just follow no, me. I, yeah, I know. I know about the right and left hand rule. Have you tried that? Uh, I mean, I have been mapping it out in my head where I've been going. Okay. I wasn't particularly following one wall, but given that it's, it's technically still random chance. Uh, is it random chance? Yeah, I mean, you don't know if the right wall or the left wall is going to lead you the way. It's just a way to keep track of where you've been. Unless there's a okay. circle, then it doesn't work. I mean, the goal, it's not like the goal changes every time, so that's not random. But No, I understand that, but I'm saying if you go right mm. versus left, you, as far as you know, you have an equal chance of getting, getting your choice right. Okay. But, yeah, whatever, whatever. It's more like in a very complicated maze, you're like, have I gone down this way yet? You don't know. Um, okay, I think I know where the four, the okay. other pad is. I think it's by Candy's place, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, let's finish this area first out with, um... Tiny. Tiny. All right, sounds good. Well, cool, man. That sounds like a lot of fun. Have you ever been to Comic-Con before? No, the only cons I've ever been to were some, like, uh, pony cons, and, uh, there was... I went to this anime con in Canada once. Oh. That, that's where I got to meet Doug Walker, the nostalgia critic. Doug Walker. That was back in 2013. That was a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, this was so gigantic. There was so much to see in so little time. I could only see it in a, in a day, so. Yeah. Uh, lots of walking, but you know what? I, I, I wanted you to go with me, but you, you were going to Montana at the time. So. I'll get more into that in the next episode, but. Yeah, um, dude. Trying to see what else is there. Um. Oh, yeah, so... A lot of artists um, were, were selling fan art of She-Ra. Um, so, she so you don't know much about She-Ra, do you? No. So She-Ra and He-Man were these cartoons, I believe, in the 80s. I'm familiar with He-Man. Like she ra is like... Watched, oh my god, those are fucking... I know, aren't they creepy? Jeez. Look at that shit. I don't know how long that's open for, so... Those giant golden banana coins are pretty awesome, though. Wow. Apparently, I can't tell where I'm going. <laughs> there we go. Yep, push that push that. Look at this spooky boy. Hey there. I'm gonna open up my mouth. <laughs> my jaw doesn't in unhinge. The top of my head unhinges. Oh man. There are a lot of these. Isn't that fucking rad? In N64. <laughs> Whoa! Bless you. Where you'd go into some clam. <laughs> Clam's mouth. Uh, really? Yeah, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe like in Majora's just, Mask? Mario 64, Majora's Mask. Well, you had to go inside Majora's some clams in Mario's, in Jolly Roger clams. Bay. Clams. Those things would hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, I feel like it's it's a repeated idea. They're like, what are we going to do in the water level? <laughs> Let's the, make clams always... where you, like, go in their mouth. And there's those freaking clams you had to fight in the water temple in Ocarina. Yep. Some people really hate those clams. I, I never had problems with them, but. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, so so Shira, um, they rebooted it <laughs> recently. <tooth> clips. Oh. <laughs> oh, they don't hurt if you touch their teeth. Um, maybe they can smush you, but I don't know. Huh? Is that all of them? Yeah, no, one more. Right there. Oh, and then there's some yep. purple coins down there. Get those purple coins. So they recently rebooted Shira with a new show, and I oh. I had be, been meaning to watch it over the past few months, but I just hadn't gotten around to it, and. I talked to a few people at the at the con about it, and they're like, yeah, no, it's really cool. In fact, the creator of the current She-Ra show was actually there. Oh, sweet. I, I didn't get to meet him or her, but uh, they, they had a panel, and uh, apparently the original creator of Deadpool was there, too. What? I think I walked by him while he was at a sitting at a table, but I didn't get to talk to him. Cool. Because uh, there's just so many things to see. I just... How old is Deadpool? I thought it was like a newer comic, no? Deadpool has been around since the early 90s, I believe. Oh, he was yeah. intended to be a villain, but then they made him into an anti-hero. Oh. And he's very inspired by Spider-Man's design. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then, um... Cool. But yeah, so I talked to people about She-Ra, and they're like, yeah, no, the new She-Ra show, it's really good. It's way better than the old one. I'm like, okay. So I started watching it after Comic-Con, and... The old one? No, the new one. Oh, got it. I started, there's some red bananas down there. Oh, Might thank want to get those you, as Diddy. You. Yes, sir. Oh, I didn't even see them, man. Um, but yeah, no, so I started watching it, and yeah, it's, it's good. It's, I can't imagine it's the kind of show you would enjoy. It's... Okay. It's kind of like Star Wars, or, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, in that it's very oh. epic... But also very cartoony and goofy. Oh, all right, all right. It's like a blend of both of those. Teen Titans. Like, yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> it's a blend of not like Teen Titans Go. Sure, sure. No, but yeah, no. I, it's the right balance for me. Like, I think the comedy is pretty solid. The characters are likable. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I'd recommend it for those of you who are into like epic space Shitty movies, space fantasy shows. But yeah, no, I've really been enjoying it. It's so on. Is... It's on Netflix. 
Mm. So yeah, go check it out there if you're interested. Right on. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, how far are we now? Yeah, 15 minutes. All right, we'll call it. Next time on Royal Goose, we learn about the Montana trip. <laughs>